lovely Lady Cakes TV. I know, it's been a while. I'm sorry, I've been pregnant and I've been trying to get ready for this baby to come in June, so it's coming up very soon. But today I'm making a sweet for you guys. You know, Mother's Day is coming up, or if you're just wanting to give your loved one something special, we're gonna be making some coconut strawberry truffles. Yum! are strawberries. I love using organic fresh strawberries or down by your farmers market just pick up a whole box and what we're gonna do with these strawberries are dice them up and then we're actually going to freeze them because our truffle main part instead of chocolate inside the truffle is going to be this pureed strawberry goodness. It's super simple so make sure that you cut them up really fine and then freeze them because I'm gonna be using a fun tool that I recently got. It's called the dessert bullet. It's super cool. You just add your frozen pieces inside this chute. You push it, you turn it on, you push it down, and out comes this amazing puree. For you guys who don't have a dessert bullet, that's okay. Just put all your little um, cubed frozen pieces just in a Cuisinart or a blender and just pulse it real lightly because you still want it to be frozen because we're gonna mold them now with a spoon or an ice cream scooper and mold them into balls because we want the shape of a truffle, that's right. So then, after you have the shape of a ball, we're gonna actually freeze it again so it holds its shape really well. Okay, so next, what we're gonna need is some yummy chocolate. That's right, chocolate to cover the strawberry ball that we have just placed in our freezer. So take, make sure you melt your chocolate really well in the microwave or double boiler. I like to add a teaspoon of coconut oil to my chocolate so it makes it nice and runny and smooth. And then, so take your strawberries out of the freezer and then cover them in chocolate Real quickly, I like to use maybe some chopsticks or you guys can use a fork. And then just cover that truffle really well with chocolate. Place it off to the side. And then after you place it off to the side, we'll need to dip it in something. Maybe garnish it with something really fun. I'm gonna use something fresh, coconut flakes. Yeah, um, sweetened coconut flakes are perfect for this. Moms love it. And um, if you wanted to go a little crazier, you could mix up a crunch bar or a Butterfinger bar or some nuts, maybe pistachios or walnuts, whatever her favorite thing is, and garnish it on the outside. Just dip the chocolate into this. It's so good. And then we'll need to freeze it again because that strawberry puree will melt. This is one of those truffles you need to eat quickly once you take it out of the freezer. So. Freeze that bad boy one more time, and we're gonna eat it. All right, look at these cute little coconut strawberry truffles. They are too cute, personally, just small bite-sized treats, love it. Um, don't forget, after you dip them in your chocolate and then your um, coconut, to put them back in the freezer until you're ready to eat them. And I would recommend taking them out about five minutes or 10 minutes before you wanna eat them just so the strawberry gets nice and um, uh, not as hard as when you were freezing it. So, let's try it. Mmm, sweet. That is so good. And we're talking about fresh ingredients here, just strawberries which are great for you, chocolate, which is supposed to help your heart in the future, and coconut. 
So you feel like you're at the beach, it's so light and fresh. So I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. What a fun spin on your typical really chocolatey truffle. This is a light version of it and it's so fresh and delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Welcome back to Cake Talk. It's been a while, I know. Well, last week I asked you guys what you're doing for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up, and a lot of you answered. Listen to what you said. And Christina Fugue said, I'm making my mom a cake. It's going to be mint chocolate chip. And Katie Chow said, I'm probably going to make a challah bread with some lemon sorbet. And Kitty Cat said, I'm making my mom a poetry book wrapping it up and surprising it to her. Very creative. Check out your really cool photos that you guys leave me on my social media pages. And don't forget to leave me your photos of your Mother's Day creations on my Facebook fan page or my Twitter page or my Instagram. Just tag me at Lovely Lady Cake so I can add you in the next Cake Talk. And this week's question, why don't we tag this photo of me, pregnant Anna? And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>